My name is Katie Thomas. <laughs> and Katie, tell me, uh, tell me about when you came to Christ, or when, how, what, what do you remember when you came to Jesus? What was, um, when did that happen, and what was that like? I came to Jesus my junior year of high school in your basement during Voltage. Okay. Yeah. Um, I just remember everyone went back upstairs after like the Voltage talk and was like messing around. And I just stayed downstairs and prayed in your, in your basement. And that was how it happened. So how did I not know that? It was, I don't know. <laughs> that is amazing. So, That's yeah. awesome. What does Christ mean to you? I'm not, now that you, I mean, it's, oh, it's a few years now that you've committed your life to Jesus. But mm -hmm. what is, what is he, what's he done for you? Or what does Jesus mean to you? Oh my gosh. Um, I don't know. Really giving me a sense of security. I know it sounds really boring. But um, just being able to go through life with like the feeling that you're loved and that you're cared for, and that like he he already knows what's on the other side is just a really great feeling. Yeah. So, That's awesome. is your family going to be here today? Your I think so. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> you've done some other things too, like you're you're going to call the CCU. You've done mm -hmm. mission trips. You served up part time on staff with us. <laughs> Tell us some about what ministry means to you. And why why you kind of moved towards that? Um. Just really learning what it means to like love others as yourself and that sort of thing is really kind of a hard lesson to learn. Um, and it sounds super cliche, but that's like what ministry is. And as long as you're doing that, then what you're doing is worthwhile. Yeah. So. And you're going to you're going to Poland on missions this mm -hmm. summer. Tell us about the Poland trip. Um, we're going to Poland at the end of May for two weeks, and we're going to be teaching English in the middle school, and we're going to be having like a club. It's kind of like a youth group, kind of like a young life club, where we just hang out with all these Polish kids. Yeah. And it's going to be great. So. That's awesome. And, and what are you studying at CC? Music. What do you hope to do when you're done? I, um, I mean, ideally, make a career out of singing and that sort of thing. But who knows? So yeah. maybe what would you say to someone who's afraid to get baptized? You know, we have a lot. Just to do it. I think it's just worth it. It might seem a little bit scary. Just being on a stage is always scary. But I think just to do it is worth it. Awesome. So thank you. We're so proud of you. <laughs> Good job. You know, baptism is kind of like the the put up or shut up moment. It's kind of like the put it, put your money where your mouth is kind of deal. Because. A lot of people will raise their hand in church, or they'll stand up, or they'll pray the prayer, but they go, okay, now you need to follow the Lord in baptism. Jesus said, repent and be baptized, not every one of you, for the remission of your sins. And so, baptism is a symbol. Bap the word baptism in English comes from the Greek word baptizo, which is the same word that the Greeks used for washing the dishes, to immerse. To, when, they would, when they would wash a pot, they would baptizo. And it's a symbol of being buried in the likeness of Christ's death. But not just being buried. Jesus didn't die. Remember we, we celebrated that Easter Sunday last week? He didn't stay in the grave. But he came back to life. And he was raised to newness of life. And so when, when today when you see um, both these ladies get baptized, you know, I think Katie's coming first. Come on out, Katie. You'll see the symbol of them being buried in the water and then coming back to newness of life. It's a public profession of an inward Katie, reality. Everyone. Katie, Thomas, you remember a time in your life when you received Christ as your Lord and Savior. Yes, um, it was my junior year of high school and it was in Wayne's basement after voltage. How do you like that, everybody? I didn't know that till today. <laughs> You got saved from my house, in my basement. You've decided to serve him and live for him for the rest of your life. That's awesome. And in, in the archaic way of the old church, you, you decided to renounce the devil in all his ways. <laughs> all right. You, we're going to baptize you now. You can either plug your nose or not plug your nose. It's up to you. Katie Thomas, upon public profession of your faith, I now baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You're buried in the likeness of his death. And raised in newness of life. What's your name? Sally Galroth. Sally, tell us about 
Um, I know you you we you were skydiving with me a couple <laughs> weeks ago, about a month ago now. Yeah. And we I know that you came to Christ as a teenager. Mm-hmm. You spent a lot of years away from the Lord, right? T- tell me about how you recently what how recently coming back to Christ, what how that happened, or. Vanessa and Jason, I've wanted to go back, but Bruce always says, well, I could get close to Christ in the mountains or wherever, and it's like, I needed a spiritual feed, you know, I mean, and for years I've been wanting that, but was afraid to go by myself or, you know, with the family, and so once we started coming here the first day, (laughs) um, we've been here ever since, you know. And then you wanted to be baptized. Uh-huh. Tell me, why, why is, what, what, what kind of started that for you? I've never been baptized, you know, that I can remember anyways. Yeah. Um, I've been in, out, in and out of churches, like you said. Yeah. And um, I, I just feel it's right. Yeah, that's the feel, awesome. The feeling's right, you know. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I wish my family was going to be here, but... We well, can say hi to him right now. <laughs> hi, gang. <laughs> Wish you were here. <laughs> That's good. Oh, no. What would you say to someone who maybe, you know, you've seen it at our church. A lot of people raise their hand or they take a stand for Jesus, but then they never get baptized. Maybe they're afraid to do it or whatever. I mean, just like we were afraid to skydive. They're afraid to get in the tank. Right. What would you say to someone who's afraid to do that? I'm here. <laughs> I'm kind of afraid, but I think it's going to be refreshing and more a sense of freedom, more freedom than... I feel I already have with Christ. I don't know. Anything else you want people to know today as you get baptized? Not right now. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Come on out, Sally. Sally, you remember a time when you received Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes, I did. In high school, many years ago. That's awesome. And then a rededication right around when we planted the church, downtown Castle Rock. I remember you coming, and you've been with us from the very, very beginning. You decided to serve the Lord Jesus the rest of your life? Yes, sir. You think all these people ought to do the same? Yes, sir. How about those who raise their hand? Should they get dunked like you today? Yes, sir. (laughs) It's warm. You, you pronounce the devil in all his ways. Yes, sir. All right. Sally Gelroth, my sister, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You're buried in the likeness of his death. You're raised in the likeness of his resurrection. <laughs>